Hello and welcome to Kotlin Thursdays. This week on Kotlin Thursdays, we're going to be talking about the list API and specifically about filtering lists. So let's get started. Okay, to get us started here, I just created a uh, data class. The data class has uh, two properties. One is a name and one is an age. And I've created three people. We're just gonna run the program and print out everyone that's in the list. So we've got Xander and Fred and Allie, and we're going to go ahead and implement a method to filter these things. We're going to implement this kind of like it's 2004. Um, so no fancy code here, just pretty simple stuff just to show a very simple implementation of how we might filter. So I'm going to create a method called over 20. It's got an input list and an output list. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is create a filtered list uh, to put the people in that are filtered, and that's what we're going to return. And we're going to iterate through this list and just look for everything that meets the criteria we have. In this case, we're going to use a criteria of a person who is over the age of 20. And if the person is over the age of 20, we're just going to go ahead and put them into that filtered list. Um, so again, this is not rocket science. The only reason I'm doing this is just to show you a very dumb implementation if you're going to do it yourself, which of course you're not going to do. You're going to use the filter method that is on the list API, um, which looks kind of like this, uh, filtered equals people.filter it.age is greater than 20. Before I get into that, I'm going to use the one that I implemented myself just to provide an example of what this would look like if you did it yourself, um, just as a way of helping explain what the filter method does. So we're going to create a filtered people list here, and we're just going to call that over 20 method, and we're going to pass the list that we want to filter. And filtered people will be put into that variable there. And we'll run it right now and see how it looks. Okay, great. So we now have Xander because he's over 20. And we don't have Fred because Fred's not over 20. But we should have Allie. And we do. Allie is over the age of 20. She's 35. And so we're all set. We've managed to implement it ourselves. Now let's take a look at how we would do this if we were to use the Kotlin method. Um, so filtered people using Kotlin, we're going to assign that equal to people.filter, and all we're going to do is pass the condition that we want it. It is the individual element in the array, that in, the case, in this case is the person element. Um, if the it age, the person's age is over the age of 20, then we're going to include all of those things in the filtered list. So the person.age over 20 corresponds to this bit of code we have above. And let's run it and see what it looks like. Um, I'll create another output here to show what it's going to look like. And we should end up with the same result. And it looks like we do, but in order to make it a little clearer, I'm just going to make them line up nice and evenly. So we're going to do a people A and people B, and let's run it again. Okay, that looks really good. Uh, it did. It all matches up, so we'll move on to the next thing. Okay, last time we looked at filter, which we passed a condition to, and it filtered the things that match the condition. So it took the things that match the condition and put them into the list. I want to look at the opposite of that, which is called filter not, which is going to put anything in the list that doesn't match the condition. And to do that, we'll create a list here of just a bunch of numbers, 10, 20, 105. And we're gonna make a new list from that using filter not. In this case, the condition we're gonna use is it equals 20. So it's going to put into the numbers not 20 list anything that does not match 20. So it's just the inverse of the filter um, operation that we looked at the last time. So let's run this and see how that looks. 
So that makes sense. Um, so we took everything in the original list, 10, and didn't take 20 because 20 is what we're filtering that we do not want in the list. And it takes the last two 105. So it's basically just filter, um, but the condition is effectively uh, reversed. Um, and for the next one, we're going to take a look at filter is instance. Filter is instance is another way that uh, we can filter things, but based on the, the type of the class of the element. Um, so before we do that, uh, we're going to create another list to start with. And it's just going to have a variety of types of classes in it. So a string, a number, another string, uh, some sort of a decimal, a null, and uh, another integer. So only strings is going to be the list that we're going to filter into. And we're going to take that and say filter is instance. And we're going to filter only for instances of strings. i got to close that ending. There we go. Um, we're going to make it compile. And now we're going to just print out the result. So this should take that list, the original list. Uh, let's remove all this stuff over here, too so we can focus on what we're doing and run it. Um, so that should take everything out of the list that is not a string. And looks good. So hello made it to the resulting list, and world made it to the resulting list. So 12, 15.5, null, and 500, because they're not strings, did not end up in the resulting list. So that's how filter is instance works. OK, the next one we're going to look at. We're going to do filter not null. Um, so kind of like filters instance um, in a way, but this one will just take any null values out of a list. Uh, so we're going to create an example list here. It's got hello, null, 12, null, null there. And we're going to filter that into a new list, which we're going to call no nulls. And so in order to use this, we're just going to say filter not null. We don't have to hand it any parameters or anything because it just going to take the list and remove all the nulls from it. Uh, let's print that out. No nulls equals no nulls. And let's run it and see how it looks. OK, so that looks good. Hello is in the list. That makes sense. The null isn't. The 12 is. And the there is. Hello, 12 and there. So that's Pretty simple, straight, pretty straightforward. It just goes through the list and pulls out anything that's null, um, leaves you with anything that that is not null. OK, so for the final example we're going to do, there's, there's another method that's important to know about. And it's actually kind of a series of methods. And it's called filter2. Um, and all the cases we've had before, it creates a new array for us to put the data into. Um, but there's a whole series of other methods uh, that every method that we've seen also has a to version, which will take a list um, to put the data into rather than just creating one of its own. So I'm creating here two lists. I'm going to create an existing list, which is a mutable list, so we can add to it. And I'm going to create a list to filter. So we're still going to do a filter operation. But you'll notice here, I'm going to use filter2, and then I'm going to pass the existing list. So it's going to filter the list to filter into the existing list. And it's going to add only the items that are less than 10, in this case, 6 and 7. And the condition, obviously, is less than 10. That's why it's 6, six and 7. And we're going to print out the existing list. So we've just added these, these filtered items to the existing list. Rather than creating a new list, we're using one we already had. Uh, so let's run it and see how that looks. OK, there we are. It's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from the existing list. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the filter operation added items 6 and 7 from the list to filter. OK, that concludes this week on Kotlin Thursdays, where we covered filtering on the list api we hope you enjoy it and if you want to learn more stop by kotlinthursdays.com thanks